Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Nowadays if you ask any PC enthusiast for a sub $300 PC, you will hear the same answer every single time. Gaming PC I have a Dell Optiplex. I have a GTX 1650. Uh. Gaming PC. But if you don't like the upgrade in a pre-built way, or you just don't like pre-builds at all, then this video is for you, my friend. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and slap a like and share this video with your friends. Cause who knows, maybe this will help other people. And let's get into it after rolling the intro. For a CPU, I went with the Xeon E3-1275, which is a quad-core hyper-threaded chip with a 3.4GHz base and a 3.8GHz boost, built on the Sandy Bridge architecture on the 32nm process. This chip will cost you about 40 to 45 bucks on AliExpress. Chip, you will probably wonder why I went with this instead of the twin brother the 1270. It's the exact same chip but without the integrated graphics and 10 bucks cheaper. I know, I know, just be patient and you will see why in a minute. For RAM, I got a 4x8 kit of DDR3 1866 ECC RAM for about 60 bucks shipped also on AliExpress. For our motherboard, it's a Gigabyte P75D3H. Basically, you got everything you need, SATA 3, USB 3.0, 4 DDR3 DIMM slots, dual PCIe 16x slots, full ATX size for $65. That ain't too shabby, you know. The power supply is a Thermaltake Smart 500 watt unit. These can be found for 35 bucks shipped everywhere. Fill her up, please. What'll it be, fellas? Mustard or ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> For storage, you can get a WD Blue 500 gig S SATA 3 SSD for 60 bucks shipped on every site. Now for the big guns, the be all end all, the far route between an internet browsing daily driver and a gaming beast of a PC is the graphics card. For that, I chose an Nvidia P106 100, the mining version of the GTX 1066 gigabytes. It can be had for 70 bucks on Alibaba or Taobao, but it requires a CPU with an integrated graphics and a display capable motherboard to route the output of the graphics card through the output of the integrated graphics. And that's why I went with the E3 1275 instead of the 1270. If you are not a big fan of modding, I advise you to get the RX 584GB for 80 bucks on AliExpress instead of it. You will trade some performance for the sake of ease of installing. For the case, you can use any one you like, make sure your motherboard and all your components fits inside it. I went with a kinda like tomato cane case, the canard. I got it for 3 bucks brand new on one of the repair shops next to me. All this goodness gonna cost you exactly $350 shipped to your door. All the parts are linked in the description. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, slap that like, and see y'all in another video.